At Dubai Air Show 2025, Rostex United Engine Corporation, also called UEC, quietly revealed a significant strategic transition. In addition to showcasing larger and more high-profile power plants in the Emirate, the company unveiled a new generation of compact engines. The most notable of these is the SM-100, designed for modern trainer aircraft and for a series of small power units intended for unmanned aerial vehicles. The presentation covers several parts of Russian aviation policy. These include the plan to update current trainer aircraft, the creation of flexible engines to reduce overall costs, and the development of small engines suitable for the growing range of drone platforms. Initially, Rostec and UEC published announcements and product descriptions, and later specialized Russian media covering the Dubai Air Show also reported on them. So what is the SM-100? UEC classifies the SM-100 as a new turbofan engineered within the dimensional parameters of the serial AI-222-25 engine. That engine-powered aircraft, such as the Yak-1-30 family. The new engine incorporates several significant design innovations. Engineers reduce the dry weight while increasing maximal thrust by approximately one-third, reaching about 3,300 kg force of thrust. That increase in thrust, achieved without enlarging the engine, represents a major engineering success. It allows aircraft that use the older engine to mount a stronger engine with only small changes to the airframe. UEC's public materials also highlight that the internal architecture and materials of the SM-100 allow for longer service life while supporting operation at lower continuous propulsion levels. This combination directly targets lower operational costs and lower maintenance costs for training fleets. The SM-100 is described as the evolutionary successor to the AI-22025 engine. The AI-22025 was originally developed by the Ukrainian design bureau Ivchenko Progress. By designing the SM-100 within the same dimensional envelope, meaning the mounting points and the nacelle geometry, UEC ensures compatibility with platforms currently equipped with the AI-22025, especially the Yak-130. This eliminates the need for major structural modifications to the aircraft. Beyond direct replacement, UEC leadership has publicly suggested that the SM-100 may serve not only trainer and light attack aircraft, but also light regional or utility aircraft. There is no exact Western equivalent to the SM-100, especially given its intended use as both a trainer engine and a potential unmanned aerial vehicle engine. However, there are broadly comparable engines in thrust class and design philosophy. One of the closest Western counterparts is the Honeywell and Avio F-124. This is a compact, low-bypass turbofan designed for advanced trainer aircraft, such as the Leonardo T-100. The F-124 is known for reliability and for a strong balance of power and weight, similar to UEC's goals for the SM-100. The SM-100 is not made to compete with large commercial turbofans or powerful military engines. It belongs to the category of engines that produce less than 4,000 kg force of thrust, a category where Western options are fewer. This gives UEC a specialized but strategically important position. One of the most forward-looking aspects of UEC's statements is the explicit link between the SM-100 and unmanned applications. Although the engine is mainly described as a replacement or upgrade for jet trainers and light attack trainers, Rostec and UEC emphasize a possible derivative version. A high altitude and long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle variant could be developed from the core of the SM-100. The reasoning is simple. A compact turbofan that produces more thrust relative to its mass but can also operate at lower cruise settings is well-suited for long-endurance flights. When matched with an efficient airframe using high aspect ratio wings, the engine could support medium-altitude long-endurance platforms or even high-altitude pseudo-satellite concepts. Russian media covering the Dubai show specifically referenced this unmanned aerial vehicle direction 
as part of UEC's product plans. Alongside the SM100, UEC used Dubai to showcase a range of compact turbojet engines and turbo generators in the low horsepower group. These ranged from tens to low hundreds of kilogram force of thrust and were aimed at Russian unmanned aerial vehicle manufacturers. Some of these engines fall in the 40 to 150 kilogram force class. They demonstrate that a traditional aircraft engine manufacturer is entering the modular propulsion segment for drones. For system integrators, using small ready-made turbofan and turbo generator modules from an established manufacturer speeds up design work and reduces the risk of using small startups or repurposed industrial devices. UEC's materials and independent Russian reports emphasize that these compact new engines are already being installed on various Russian unmanned platforms. This suggests prototype or low-rate initial production use. The SM100's increased thrust, reduced mass, and longer projected lifespan directly address the main cost factors for trainer fleets. These include fuel consumption, maintenance downtime, and overhaul intervals. A trainer fleet using the SM100 could operate at lower nominal propulsion settings for most sorties, using the additional thrust only when needed. This reduces thermal and mechanical stress and increases component lifespan. From a procurement perspective, extending service intervals and lowering the cost per flight hour is attractive to air forces and training organizations that fly many sorties. The possibility of adapting the engine family for unmanned aerial vehicle use increases the return on development investment by spreading research and development expenses across more platforms. Russian industry articles covering the Dubai show emphasize these long-term economic advantages. Now, let us look at the strategic potential for export and adaptation. UEC's public communications at Dubai send a clear message. These engines are used on Russian platforms but can be adapted for promising foreign counterparts. Engine manufacturers often create engines in standard sizes so they can fit onto aircraft made by different companies. Once the external dimensions are known, foreign designers can integrate the air intake, the exhaust, and the mounting hardware. For export customers evaluating light combat trainers, regional aircraft, or advanced unmanned systems, the SM-100 and its smaller engines provide a full solution. They offer modern turbofan performance without requiring a total redesign of the nacelle or the pylon. For Russia, offering versatile engines that can be installed in foreign platforms is both a commercial strategy and a geopolitical tool. However, some information is missing. Public descriptions of the SM-100 highlight its size, thrust, durability, and derivative potential, but leave important engineering questions unanswered. These include exact fuel consumption at cruise, time between overhauls during real flight cycles, thermal management for long loiter at altitude, and how open the control electronics are for integration with foreign avionics. Rostec also mentions advanced materials and so-called fifth-generation technologies, but independent validation will be necessary. Operators will need flight test data, performance curves, and third-party evaluation to judge life cycle savings. Russian specialist sources monitoring the SM-100 show both optimism about the design and caution about the need for verified flight hours. So where does this engine fit into the broader propulsion market? The SM-100 and the small unmanned aerial vehicle engines arrive at a time when the propulsion industry is fragmenting. Traditional manufacturers protect their core markets in large civil and military engines, while smaller companies pursue modular, lower-thrust segments. For trainers and drones, the focus is shifting from maximum power to fuel efficiency, ease of maintenance, and integration flexibility. UEC's move into small engines supports this trend. A state-backed manufacturer can outperform small competitors in scale and can provide after-sales support and spare parts, which are important for military and government customers. Participation in the Dubai Airshow positions Russian propulsion equipment as a versatile option 
for markets outside the West. In conclusion, the SM100 is not marketed as a revolutionary breakthrough like a variable cycle engine. Instead, it is presented as a practical and evolutionary development. It provides targeted improvements, cost savings, and adaptability for new applications. Combined with the portfolio of small unmanned aerial vehicle power units, UEC's exhibit in Dubai shows a dual approach. This approach is to replace and upgrade legacy trainer engines inside Russia and to export flexible propulsion modules for a wide range of foreign platforms. For air forces and aircraft integrators following the Dubai Air Show, the SM-100 and its variants are worth watching. They are potentially valuable not because they are revolutionary, but because they reduce operating costs and increase platform options. The coming months, as test data and operator feedback appear, will reveal whether the SM-100 fulfills its promises of efficiency and durability. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us,